Hey guys, we are here for another episode of the Artsy Trio, and I have a variety of things on my desk because of course I'm working on more than one project at once, but I will try to focus, I promise. <laughs> um, this month the, I created the mood board, and although the mood board is for September, it airs at the end of August. August is my birth month. I was born in the 1960s, and so of course I just stepped off that cliff and used that for inspiration. So I created this mood board with a 1960s inspired imagery and color palette. So we are going to go with that to create something, fair, I think, fairly abstract. That's where I'm thinking I'm going to go with this. I've seen a number of different abstract art journaling techniques on Instagram lately by a few different artists, not any one in particular that I can point out more than the other. Um, I'm going to see where I can go with this. I've got some distressed crayons, some neocolor crayons, some pencils, some paints. As I have been doing in recently previous RC trios, I am going to focus on using some of those supplies I don't use too much, i.e. the crayons. So um, we are going to see where we go with this. I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but we're going to find out together. Let's get done with, let's get, let's, let's get into the process. I'm going to speed through it. It's going to be pretty self-explanatory, so I don't think I need to stop and um, talk you through it and leave you any instructions, but I could change my mind. We'll see. I'll be back. Okay, I take it back, I am gonna talk through it. So not unlike some other abstract techniques and art therapy techniques like, um, what is it called, neurographic art? Um, yeah, when I did this one. So the first thing I did, as you saw, is I went with the pencil and I barely looked at the paper and just went with how I felt as far as marks. Now I'm gonna go back and pick some of those marks and fill them in with uh, paint colors appropriate to our color palette. Um, so let me do that. I'm not really thinking about it too much. I am just focusing on how things feel. That is my security doorbell camera thing. So sorry. So I'm going to keep doing that and I'll be right back.
love where it's going. I know what I want it to say. I'm getting the impulse to do something crazy like put a black circle straight in the middle. And try to do it in the background, which is a really nuts, but I think I'm going to go for it. <laughs> oh, let's see if I can manage this. I'm gonna at least start with a black Stabilo pencil. And by the way, that's what these pencils are that I am using, are Stabilo All pencils. I know as mixed media artists, we tend to use just the black one, but they do come in colors. Although the colors can be challenging to find. It's not the world's most perfect circle by any stretch of anyone's imagination. Let's see. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if that was a good idea. Or not. I'm gonna, it is a water soluble pencil, so I can just go in with a little water. The paintbrush is kind of dirty, so it's got some of the yellow and green on it. The stamp you saw me using that I stamped the red sort of brick pattern in the background is one of my new Art Foamy stamps. At the time of this filming, um, it is not out yet, but it will be shortly. And um, I will put the art link to the Art Foamy's website down below. There are a lot of great designers over there, including myself. Um, so check it out. They have weekly videos on how to use their stamps over in their Facebook group and stuff on their YouTube channel. And anyway, it's a great company to work for. A little USA made mom and pop. Yeah, I kind of like that. So let's see, where's the black paint? <laughs> because I think we need to we need to make that darker. I like it. Okay, so. Um, let's use the flat brush at least to start. I generally don't do this. I'm the artist that likes to do my background first and then not have to retouch it later. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So this is the time where I usually advise turn on some music, go slow, don't be in a hurry. It's only paint, so if you mess it up, you can always go over it. And these are matte acrylics, which is usually what I journal with, so they will dry pretty quickly. Plus my heat tool is never too far away. I didn't have a plan as I stated earlier. I just went with what you know I was feeling by looking at the mood board. So for me, that's how most of my art is. It's really about how I feel. And you know, if your art's not about that, maybe you should give it a try. I do it not only for the love of art, but for therapy. You can tell I'm concentrating because I've gotten quiet. Mm. If before anybody asks, this is a Princeton Select flat wash brush. It's a half inch flat. And I haven't messed up the brush yet, the bristles in the brush yet, which I'm pretty good at doing. I'm really tough on my brushes, so this one's still in pretty good condition. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush now. By the way, is anyone getting um, ancient Egyptian boat vibes from this very abstract painting. I don't know that's why where my brain went when looking at this, but that is definitely where my brain went. space. 
Yeah, I like that. I don't know why I like that, but I like that. Do I want to do another? Yeah, I think I do. Let's see if I can do this without sticking my hand in something wet. As I say that, I stick my hand in something wet. Holy cow. I probably should have done this with one of the pens or pencils rather than paint. It'd be easier. Okay. Yeah, I like I like where that went. All right, let's grab a couple touch-up colors. Let's start with this olivey green in a couple places. And I think we need to do the blue. also in a couple of places, which isn't too bad because I expect it to like really mess this up. There we go. I don't know what there is about that that I like. Because it's kind of a hot mess, but. All right, so we're gonna glue our Go With The Flow. So I would love for you to try this month. Use um, the mood board for inspirations for shapes and color and design, and just sort of go with the flow and don't have a plan. Maybe close your eyes when you make that first initial round of marks on your page and see what happens and experiment and play. I am going to make some notes over here and I'll be right back.
there you go. Again, I don't know why I like that, but it's just abstracted marks and craziness, but I love the way, I love where it went. So anyway, I would love to see what your craziness looks like this month. Um, if you wanna download the mood board um, and or share what you've done inspired by the mood board, um, join our Facebook group, the RT Trio Facebook group, and um, the link is for that is in the video description. The link for my um, partners, my uh, partners in this project, is also in the video description. Mike Deacon and Bea Grob. Uh, I would love for you to go watch their videos, like, share, and subscribe. If you do join the Facebook group and you post something um, that you create, make sure to tag one or all of us teachers in the post so that we don't miss it. And I'd love to see what you do. Don't forget to just have fun, make marks, have some play time, and experiment. Go out, stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.